positions and picture frames. She showed up wearing a parachute. Okay, the second time through the steps, which means that people take the course over and over. So the second time you take the course, instead of writing another song directly to a person, you write a song about a person, which would give you in your catalog like a Mr. Bojangles or a song about a character. And the character you write about is someone you don't know well, but you've observed or you've seen and that person interests you in some way, so you write this character study about him or her. And the reason it's good to have that in your catalog is that you won't be one of these people who just rants on and on to the lover or the friends or whatever. It, you're actually interested in someone else, which makes you seem more interesting, <laughs> you know? So um, Bill Barry has written a very interesting character study, and I'm gonna have him read that and then do the song, Bill Barry. Okay, well, years ago, I had an old funky piano and wanted to get a tune, and I looked in the yellow pages and found a piano tuner. And this was sort of, uh, she was very interesting when she showed up, so I sort of said, hmm, maybe I'll open my book, and I started taking notes, and these are kind of the notes that happened. I thought she had the wrong address. She showed up right on time. She wore a green pixie cut with a cowlick sticking up. Her left eye kept going off on its own, seemingly looking for clues. She looked me up and down and side to side. I looked her right between the eyes. It seemed the only thing to do. She had a lazy eye. I found her in the yellow pages between physicians and picture frames. I like your apartment, she said. I like the art. I like the picture of the woman with the purple heart. An old Draper and Sons from 1917. It has original strings. It must have never been used in a pizza parlor. She didn't mind me watching. In fact, she preferred it. Most people excuse themselves. I don't know why. I made her some tea and some coffee for me and reclined on my faded blue sofa. I told her I write songs. She told me she did too. I write a lot of jail songs. My husband's in jail. My husband's in jail for murder. <laughs> he did it too. <laughs> I sit up and take notes. He's the most honest man I know. Murder is the most honest crime. Jails are full of honest murderers and lying thieves. And she talked on and on about how they treat him there. And she loves him so much, you could see it in her eyes every time she stares. No, I couldn't get a piano tuner with a husband in jail for robbery or forgery, could I? She continued to tune. I spent three years in the metal war. This was more than I needed to know. <laughs> my family put me in there. I wasn't crazy, though. It was my family that put me in there on account that I was always singing. Just too happy for my own good, I guess. You had to act real cool or they send you off to state. I didn't escape exactly, but I did get out. What if she got crazy on me right there in the room? <laughs> holding me captive with one of those tools. She kept on talking and making herself laugh. Don't take long to understand that anyone who could smile with the card she was dealt must have had a joker in their hand. I wonder if the yellow pages check up on the people that advertise with her. <laughs> <laughs> and she has to come back to retune it soon, in about four or five weeks. I wasn't about to argue. She's out there somewhere, going from house to house, repairing old run-down pianos for the music she knows is in them, so they can sing again. So that's what I brought to Harriet. I had that for a couple of years, sort of like, well, how am I going to make a song out of this? And Harriet says, Easy, just do my, my steps. <laughs> and so, uh, so I did, and we're going to see what this turned out to be. Now, some of the stuff that I read to you didn't end up in a song. Of course not. Well, I found her in the phone book. Between physicians and picture frames, she showed up wearing parachute pants. She wore a gray and pixie cut with a cowlick that was sticking up. Her t shirt said, Viva la France. The one eye on the left was looking straight at me, but the other one didn't even try. Let's take a look at that old upright and see what we can see. Said the piano tuner with a lazy eye. It was an old Draper and Sons from 1917. It had original strings and ivory keys. Then she opened up a leather wrap, the 
laid the tools out on a lap and said, I never get to work on these. I asked her, could I watch her? She said, that's what she preferred. Most people leave, she said, I don't know why. I made some coffee for me and a cup of jasmine tea for the piano tuner with the lazy eye. And oh, when she started to play, it sounded like a rusty horn on a Chevrolet. And oh, she said, if I don't break a string, I'm going to teach that piano to sing. Well, I asked her what she did when the piano tuner's through. I go to jail, she said. That's what I do. My husband's in jail for killing a man, that's why the visits to jail began. He did it too. He's the most honest man that I've ever known, and murder is the most honest crime. The jail is full of honest murderers and lying thieves, said the piano tuner with the lazy eye. Well, she told me she spent time in the county mental ward. She said her family got her in that mess. I wasn't crazy, that's the thing. It's cause I really like to sing. Too happy for my own good, I guess. You had to act real cool, or they'd send you off to state. Took a while to say goodbye. They finally let me out, though I never did escape. Said the piano tuner with a lazy eye. Well, she told me more adventures, cause they happen every day. And she worked those tools while she talked. And she'd fix another broken key and have another sip of tea. And the strings would stretch, but they never popped. When she was through, she looked right at me and said, this old girl's going to be just fine. And I couldn't tell if she was talking about the piano or the piano tune or with the lazy eye. And oh, the music she played was like sunrise and fireflies and lemonade. about her now and then. She's out in the world somewhere finding pianos to repair so they can sing again. Some people spend their lives searching for a miracle. Some people let the miracle pass them by. Well, I found mine in the yellow pages. Piano tuner with a lazy eye. murderers and lying yeah. thieves. I just, th there is so much good stuff in that, yeah. and you didn't leave anything out that I couldn't live without, and mm. it was really hard, because I couldn't live without most of it. Mm. You know, it was fabulous. Well, it was a, it was a great a great thing to bring that first thing in, and I've been working on it for a long time, but people were able to kind of say, you don't need that, you don't need that, we'll stick to this, well, you don't need that. It was really helpful, Yeah. your help and the, and the class's help. Yeah, sometimes you have to have a, an outside eye because all That's of your truth. children are beloved. Uh, I love every, you know? <laughs> every word. Slaying your children, that's what editing is. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Pants. She wore a green pixie cut with a cowlick that was sticking up. 